So we're nearly at the end of the Falklands Games. Uh, we're on day six currently. Uh, yesterday, Catherine and I went to have a look at the squash and the badminton. What did you make of that, Catherine? It was really good, really fast paced, but it was great seeing everyone get involved and in doing sports they wouldn't normally do. Yeah, no, I mean, they looked like they were having a real good time. Some tough games as well. This morning, the guys are having a go at the cycling. Uh, they're cycling from Surf Bay, aren't they? Yeah, they're doing a round route from Surf Bay around the Lady Elizabeth, so that should be quite good to get out on the roads and the bikes. And they've got some good weather for it too. Here are the scores so far for the games. The results as of Wednesday evening show Polar Seafish with a strong lead on 45 points. National Sports Council are in second with 35. Aquila are in the bronze spot on 27 points. And Fortuna are rounding off the table with 19 points. The games will conclude on Friday evening. Stacey, a successful tournament, I think. No, it's been brilliant. I think the, the format of it has been excellent and um, it's been really fun just getting different people with various abilities and skills across different sports and uh, I think it's just been fantastic and um, well done to everyone who's taken part and uh, all to those who've organised it. I think it's just great that it's, um, you know, the teams have, from what I've seen have been very evenly matched so there might be one or two people who are strong in one sport and then others who maybe, you know, they're just beginning to have a go at that sport so I think the way it's worked where it has been that mix of abilities and the fact that it's men and women competing together I think it's been great. I think this has been a great opportunity and um, hopefully in the future when we've got a new swimming pool and uh, we have a new sports complex then be even um, more opportunities to hold events like this.